it is Quicken and welcome back to my channel. Happy October. Today I am going to be making the unboxing video for my Halloween toys that I collected from the flea market. So if you haven't seen the video where I talk about some of the decorations I got from the flea market and eBay and stuff like that, I will link that in the cards right here. You can check that out if you would like. You guys have been sending me the things that you've been finding from the flea market on Instagram, like nonstop. My Instagram story feed is just melted plastic popcorn pumpkins constantly, and I love it. I saw someone got melted plastic popcorn ghost string lights, and that's, that's where my heart is right now. So I thought today I would hang out with you guys and open up my Halloween toys. It'll be the first time I'm seeing Hamtaro Halloween toys, so I'm pretty excited. And with a little research, I found out, I think October 14th, McDonald's is coming out with Hello Kitty Halloween toys. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about buying brand new McDonald's toys, but it could be exciting, could be a vlog. Let me know how you feel. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at quietcoolkid where I have started to post Halloween looks. My first look you can see right here. Let me know if you can guess who this character is. I didn't make a tutorial for her or anything like that, but I did have a lot of fun creating her. So if you want a tutorial for that look, just let me know. I wasn't sure. All right, Ethan's definitely feeling my love buzz right now. Is that all you needed? So the first toy that we are opening up is the Hamtaro Witch, and these are Burger King toys. Um, Little Hamsters, Big Adventures, that's what it says on the packaging. So this is super, super cute. Inside is a Hamtaro Little Hamsters, Big Adventure official Burger King Big Kids membership application. And this is for a birthday coupon. So inside of here, it shows all of the different ones that you can possibly get, which is pretty exciting because the two like pieces of P.O.P. that I've been working off of to figure out what these toys are, one seems like a scan off of a brown paper bag. So this is pretty clear. Looks like there's a really cute Frankenstein that I didn't get. So remove the tab on Bijou's back. Clip Bijou with costume as shown. Rock Bijou back and forth. You can also rock Bijou without her costume and the sunflower seed will light up. Okay, so this seems way more advanced than I kind of took it as. So let's see if it still works. I've ran into a few of these toys before. You might remember my Furby toy where this didn't work anymore. So let's see. What do I have to do? I forget. Rock her back and forth quickly. Is it working? I would say the mechanics of this probably outdated, died in here, but it's still a really, really cute. Oh wait, I saw it. It's quick. I guess when she's in her costume, the little cat's eyes light up. I will alternate and open a nugget now. And this is a Dracula. And this is from 1992. So this packaging doesn't have any numbers on it. And you can very lightly see where there used to be more clear writing, I suppose. And there's a pumpkin and a cat. And it says, McDonald's Happy Meal presents Halloween McNugget Buddies. Collect all six while supplies last, 1992. So the hard to read text says, Mc McNuggula a McNugget. Just count the ways to switch the costume with other McNugget buddies. That's pretty cool. I've never noticed that writing on there before, but probably because it's very, very faded. So this packaging 
is kind of special to me and I think the packaging is what makes it bittersweet that I open these because from 1992, like this is older than all of my siblings. So that's just kind of special, but we'll open it. It is the same age as the Nickelodeon time capsule, which I wish they would open another day. The McNugget is in his own little plastic. And although it says you can switch around the McNuggets and they can all wear different costumes, it's not completely true. I have a couple mismatch nuggets from just like a crazy bin like I've shown you from a flea market and the costumes don't quite fit it. Has little vampire teeth. So I would just feel best if he was with the Dracula costume. Oh my God. It doesn't, it doesn't like snap in. It's not like a satisfying snap. It's just like a lays upon his head. I really want it to snap in. So he has a little hair piece with a bat on top. And then his little outfit, which is very secure. Inside of the outfit, you can see just like the, the detail of craftsmanship. And it's pretty interesting. If you didn't see my video about Pizza Hut, I interview Valonius and we talk about how these early McDonald's and Burger King toys were essentially amazing for toy collectors because they are higher quality action figures. And for these to be like McNo McDonald's native products and not necessarily like a Disney product where Disney would put the money into the product because it is advertising, these are pretty good quality for McDonald's to just put it out there and be like, put the McNugget in the costume. And in my hand, it just feels natural. Oh no! <sighs> the next toy is a Hamtaro toy. And when I was showing this to you guys in my flea market, like Halloween decor haul, I was having a hard time getting a good visual of it. So we'll open it together. Oh, wow. I did not expect it to be like this. I am not acting for the camera. This is so nuts. So this is a soft plush toy with a little bit of a pocket in the back. See my fingers in there. And then two pieces that equal, I guess, a werewolf. To my delight, these toys come with instructions. So let's check it out. Place fingers in the pocket on Elder Wolf Ham's back. Move your fingers back and forth to make him walk. Snap on Elder Ham's werewolf costume as shown for more fun. So this is just a granddad and I guess And if that wasn't enough fun, you can stuff him in here and you can have even more fun. I noticed that this has little holes throughout so he can breathe, I suppose. So this one is much easier to read on the packaging, but we'll show that to you because this is just beautiful. You don't see things like this anymore. And it, it just opens like a knife to butter because it is so old and frail, but a gentle reminder that if this was in a trash pile somewhere, it would still be perfectly fine. So this says Mummy McNugget, you can switch costumes with other McNugget buddies without any help from your mummy. Whew, I am riding with the top down, ladies. Okay, so nothing too special about the Nugget herself other than she is a woman and it looks like she's experimenting with her makeup just like me. You think that they would go for like a Cleopatra kind of cliche, but I love her. She reminds me of Danimal's yogurt. So let's adorn her. So inside of her robes, she fits good. And what's interesting is, well, there's a little spider on top of her little helmet, but there is some dirt 
along her wrappings. The spider isn't painted to all perfection here, but... And if I wanted to, she can go crazy inside of the Dracula uniform. The nugget itself has 1992 printed on it, which is interesting because I have some other nuggets in the, the foyer in the kitchen we could check out. Next is another hamster. And you can see that this is going to be a pumpkin costume. So the directions, clip on Cappy's pumpkin costume as shown. Press the button on Cappy's back to light up his pumpkin eyes. What? I don't think the electronics for that would work anymore. There was no little pulley tab, so I'm sure the batteries on this have just been going. Maybe it works when the costume is on. So if you look inside of the pumpkin, you'll see that there's this little square. And on the back, there seems to be a little square component. I'm wondering if both of them have to be triggered in order for the light to work. But cute nonetheless. Very cute. The cutest thing, honestly. Very super cute. Great job. I wish I could get the pumpkin to fit. After playing with that little button on his back with a screwdriver and working it back and forth for a little while until it got malleable, I was able to finally get this little costume on and I heard it click, like a satisfying click into place, so. He still doesn't light though. One of each left, and this next one is a witch. And look at the quality of the items in here. He's a bunch of items. Here's the front for all you sports fans with the same pumpkin and black cat motif. Look at this. Being a young, a young girl in 1992, this was probably the chicken nugget you wanted. You said, I don't want that stinking Dracula. I want the witch. And our little poetry on here, witchy McNugget, switch costumes with whichever McNugget buddies you want. Oh, uh, okay, damn. I didn't know you worked at the Mac counter at Macy's. Damn. Except for one night a year when you're a straight up witch. Okay, these are hard plastic. Basketballs are made of the same material. There's weight to this, listen. Are you kidding? Put her in there. Oh my god, she looks great. Is this an Instagram ad for trendy wigs? Let's put on her little cape, which is so clever, and it has the broom. She is a 360 toy with way to her. Ooh. You know, I was at CVS the other day looking at deals. I was at CVS looking at their Halloween section and they had this mummy statue for $12.99. And I was like, mm, don't get it because I can't explain it to John. But uh, this was free and that mummy was $12.99? Oh, way more natural resources went into producing this, okay? Ooh. Ooh. So she doesn't stand forward. She stands as if she's flying. The physics involved in this, the genius. I can't believe it. Also, it's raining. I hope you enjoy. Our final toy. Do you like video sleepies? Our final toy is a Hamtaro toy. And I just wanna thank everybody who is here today who encouraged me to find these Hamtaro toys. I went to the flea market. I had no idea they existed. I saw them and I added them to my infinite list of things I look for at the flea market. But next year, no more Happy Meal toys. The next generation won't know the pure joy of bugging your mom 
all day for McDonald's until she caves. Our final toy. We have gathered here today to pay tribute to our Lord. MCD O N A L D apostrophe S. And it is clearly a Hamtaro spider. And I don't have any repeats and motifs here. There's only, well, these are both witches. I'm stupid. But this reminds me of like a Frankenstein witch. And this is like a, a sexy witch. Like, sh she's got a pro discount. Oh, oh, oh. This is our last toy. Okay, so here he is with the sunflower seed to make this toy less seasonal, more sustainable. That sound is great. I'm stupid, but I, what are the mechanics in this? Do you think there's a battery in here or do you think this is uh, like a spring? Comment down below, what simple machine is this? So then you flip him and it's a spider web. And suddenly we're not in the hamster cage anymore. She's not a perfect alignment, but she'll do. That noise is very satisfying. And this toy, um, you know, can't really be displayed in the same sense as all the other toys, which I was a little bit trying to avoid. I told you guys I didn't want to get the spin top, but it seems like there is a spooky ghost that has a spider attached, which would have been cool, and a skeleton keychain. I feel like when I was a kid, if I would get the like keychain thing in the toys, I would be disappointed, but now as an adult, that's what I crave, so. It's funny how people change. How do I display this? Without puncturing a hole in my wall. Oh, kidding me? All right, everybody, this has been the collection of Happy Meal toys from Burger King and McDonald's that have Halloween themes that I have unboxed from the 90s and early 2000s to use as Halloween decor. <gasps> and I feel good about it. Thank you guys so much for submitting pictures to me over on my Instagram, which again is Quiet Cool Kid. You can also tweet me as well if that is your poison. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Lots of cool Halloween fall things coming in the future. And I love you guys so, so much. Let me know, do you remember these toys from when you were growing up or is this your first time experiencing them? How do you feel? I wanna know. I'm not the only one. I see you guys on Instagram. I'm not the only one. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Bye. Perfect. Perfect.